Hello, this is, is Dr. Ashwini Swati, second year postgraduate. My paper topic is High Resolution Computer Tomography Evaluation of Pathologies of Temporal Bone. My co author is Dr. Panil Kumar, MDRD Professor, Dr. Pradeep Kumar, MDRD Assistant Professor, Department of Radio Diagnosis, Shantira Medical College and General Hospital, Nandial. Introduction. HRCT is a modification of protein CT, a revolutionary imaging modality that helps in the evaluation of bone and airspace anatomy and disorders of temporal bone. Purpose of this study is to evaluate the normal variation pathological process like infections, tumors, and congenital anomalies and their extent involving the temporal bone. Temporal bone consists of five parts, squamous, mastoid, petrous, tympanic, and styloid process. The air in the tympanic cavity surrounded by the dense temporal bone and the mastoid air cells provide an inherent natural contrast to the HRCT imaging of temporal bone and provides excellent delineation of bony landmarks within the temporal bone. HRCT provides higher spatial resolution and better soft tissue contrast. HRCT is far advantageous in assessing the complications of infection. Aims and objectives of this study are to study the extent of middle-ear infections and their complications, to evaluate temporal bone neoplasm, to study the congenital anomalies of the ear echo according to compartment involvement. Materials and methods or source of data, patients attending or referred to the Department of Radiology, Shantira Medical College. Over a period of 14 months, 40 patients were clinically suspected of having symptoms related to the temporal bone underwent HRCT. Sample size is 40. Inclusion criteria are patients presenting with earache, with discharge, hearing loss, vertigo, and tinnitus, patient presenting with fever, headache, and vomiting. Exclusion criteria are patients with electric devices at the skull base, such as cochlear implants, and temporal bone trauma. CT machine used is a Siemens 32 slice helical CT. Results and analysis. 40 patients were clinically suspected of having symptoms related to temporal bone underwent HRCT, and the findings are tabulated as, this is the table 1 showing the distribution of the disease. Of all the patients, infections constitutes a 70%, tumors 25%, and congenital anomalies 5%. This is a table showing distribution of infection. Um, cholesterol is noted in 11 patients, mastoiditis is 8 patients, CSYM in 8 patients, and malignant otitis is sectional in 1 patient. This is a table showing age and sex distribution of the infection. This is a table showing comparison between the CT findings and operative findings in infections. The opacity question of external ear cholesteostoma and the internal intra -extra -cran intracranial extension is uh, noted in the uh, is noted in HRCT and they are confirmed in operative. Is a table showing the distribution of neoplasm. Acoustic neuroma is noted in six patients, glomus regulare in two patients, CP angle meningioma in one, adenoid cystic carcinoma of the external ear in one. And this is a table showing age incidence of the tumor. Among the 40 cases which were studied, infection was found to be the most common temporal pathology with increasing preponderance in the younger age group. Neoplasm formed the second largest group of lesions with uh, acoustic neuroma being the most common. Congenital anomalies are the least common pathology affecting the temporal bone in our study. This is a case of chronic otitis media with mastoiditis. HRCT axial section shows the soft tissue density in the bilateral atico antral and aditus antrum with the erosion of the bilateral short process of the incus. You also see the sclerosis of the bilateral mastoid air cells. This is a case of cholesteatoma. Here in these uh, sections, we see the soft tissue density in the middle ear involving the prosthetic space, eroding the scutum and ear ossicles, extending into superiorly into the attic and inferiorly into the mastoid antrum, suggestive of cholesteatoma. This is a case of right glomus jugulare. In this image, we see the um, intensely enhancing mass in the right jugular foramen extending into the middle ear and expansion of the jugular foramen with eroding of the adjacent petrous bone. This is a case of bilateral acoustic neuroma. In this image, we see the hypodense lesions in the bilateral CP angles. And uh, contrast to CT shows the enhancing lesions with widening of the internal, echo, internal auditory canal, extending medially, causing the compression of the pons and medulla. And on the left side, we see the uh, lesion extending laterally into the mastoid air cells and subcutaneous plane displacing the pinna. This is a case of right cerebellar pantan angle meningioma. Here we see a well defined uh, enhancing lesion in the CP angle. This is a case of right external auditory canal attrition. In this image, we see a complete absence of the external 
auditory canal and the tympanic membrane. HRCT temporal bone plays a crucial role in addressing the challenge of delineating the details of temporal bone anatomy and pathology, thus aiding in more accurate diagnosis assessment of extent of disease. The air in the tympanic cavity surrounded by the dense temporal bone and the mastoid air cells provide an inherent natural contrast to the HRCT imaging of temporal bone and provides excellent delineation of bony landmarks within the temporal bone. Patients with infection formed the largest proportion of the cases studied and the age range was from 15 months to 60 years. 28 cases were studied and out of which cholesterol were 11 cases, mastoiditis were 8 cases, CSM -OM, CSOM were 8 cases and one is a malignant otitis externa. For the assessment of middle ear infection, a close clinical correlation is essential to evaluate the nature of the middle ear soft tissue masses as cholesterol is mimicked by many other middle ear pathologies. CT scan plays an important role in assessment of residual or recurrent disease, status of inner ear, relationship of the facial nerve to any surgical change or cholesterol matter, the status of the ear ossicles or the processes employed by the surgeon. Neoplasm constitutes 20% of 25% of our study, and out of 10 neoplastic lesions that were scanned, 6 were diagnosed as acoustic neuromas. When tumors present in the middle ear, HRCT serves to differentiate tumor from vascular anomalies and to determine the extent of the deep involvement, often obviating the need for angiography. By precisely defining the intertympanic mastoid, jugular wall, intralabyrinthine, and pretreous apical involvement, as well as posterior, middle, and intratemporal fossa extension, HRCT provides essential information for planning the surgical approach. So, conclusion is HRCT outweighs the conventional modalities of investigations and provides higher spatial resolution and better soft tissue contrast. Most common lesion in our study was infection with female preponderance. Most common tumor was acoustic neuroma. Peak age was 4th to 6th decade. Excellent correlation between CT and operative findings in cholesterol matter. HRCT is ideal for evaluation of temporal bone lesion. These are the references I used. John R. Haga, Daniel Wall, CT and MRI imaging of the whole body. Swad JD et al. High resolution CT of the middle ear and mastoid. Thank you.